ago today, the Bear Fire exploded through Berry Creek, taking lives and demolishing homes. New at 5.30, Action News Now reporter Christian Lopez shows us how some survivors came together today to honor those lost and move forward. Comfort dogs Ruben and Mika greeted everyone as they walked into this Bear Fire first year remembrance event in Oroville. The Bear Fire long term recovery group put on this event for fire survivors and you can see dozens of them lined up to get in. They're offering free food, gift cards and resources to those in need. Fire survivor Seamus Barry was there. He lost everything in the Bear Fire. He says a year later, many people are still in need. Well, there's not a whole lot of re rebuilding. I believe a lot of people have PTSD. You know, they're really just so lost and don't know what to do, what, what kind of decisions to make. The recovery process is, is a marathon and not a sprint. Uh, and there are a lot of folks at, at different stages. Some folks are already getting ready to rebuild. Some folks are uh, very far away from that or uh, may not be able to rebuild. Uh, the need for resources, especially water, is, is great uh, and increasing. Fender says this building they're holding the event in is the future home of the Wildfire Resource Center that's going to open up on Monday and it's going to be available for anyone impacted by a wildfire. We definitely still need help. But I know there's just so much more people every day needing it again like we did last year. Barry says he's thankful for the people who put on Wednesday's event and he shared this message to his community. So be patient, be patient and uh, stay the course. You know, let them know that, that I love them and uh, it's a good community and do your best to come back. The event is going to be taking place until 7 p.m. Reporting in Oroville, Christian Lopez, Action News Now coverage you can count on. The new Wildfire Resource Center will be located at the Lakeside Plaza. It's open Monday through Saturday. Cal OES is now in phase two of debris cleanup from the entire North Complex.